So this is my 2011 F-150. We put a two and a half inch leveling kit in it, which I believe I'm going to take back out. It just ruins the ride. It looks good, but the way the suspension all tweaks, it uh, makes it ride like a three quarter ton. I kind of want my luxury ride back. So come summertime when things are a little bit warmer, I'm going to uh, pull the leveling kit back out of it. <coughs> we changed out uh, the fog lights to LED bulbs and the headlights to an LED bulb. We added in strobe lights in the, up front, up in the window for when we do different events. And we also have, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it through the glass, but we have a, a strobe light bar hiding in behind the glass here. So this F-150 has the 5 liter in it. It's the XLT with the XTR package, 4x4. Some uh, Cooper Discover uh, AT3 XLT 10 ply tires. They are a nice tire. It's a bit slick on this stuff, but anything would be. Nice aggressive look on the outside on the edge. Still got your white wall lettering, good tread pattern for good uh, good snow traction and all around good tire. Everything's frozen up pretty good. So the way the truck sits, sits nice and level, sits nice and big with the leveling kit. But uh, I'm going to take out that leveling kit and either put in a 6 inch or a 4 inch lift get a proper lift put in it just so my uh, my ball joints and everything aren't tinked and uh, it'll be less hard on suspension components and it'll ride a lot smoother so if you're thinking about buying a leveling kit I would uh, recommend spending the few extra dollars and buying an actual lift where it drops your control arms and everything down it gives you your drop down brackets for everything and you're gonna you're gonna keep your ride you put in a leveling kit everything gets stretched out and kinked and like and everything rides a lot rougher so we'll show you underneath the hood here just your regular five liter stock exhaust stock intake runs nice and smooth Haven't done any performance mods to it there yet. Little video of the, the how the dash and everything looks. Over on the passenger side, we added in uh, a doubled in deck that has OBD2 Connect, uh, dual camera setup system, and uh, gives me all a bunch of different gauges and stuff that the vehicle doesn't always all have in the cluster it's kind of nice uh, if you guys are wondering there that's how uh, my strobe lights hook in up top little uh, video imaging of the back seat we got some of our camera equipment and uh, some extra bottles of water Little one's car seat. All kinds of leg room in an F-150. If you're ever looking to buy an F-150, like, you got some leg room. I don't know, compared to the Chev, I find uh, the F-150's got all kinds of leg room in the back seat. A buddy of mine there, he's six foot something, and he, uh, he sits up 
perfectly fine and his knees don't touch the back of my seat I don't have to pull it forward XLT model and believe it or not it's got a 5 liter not the 5.4's but the 5 liter Mustang motor the original Mustangs you remember that Coyote Coyote at that yeah see Jay knows that <laughs> it's his truck <laughs> yeah so uh yeah ha. let me show you guys around <laughs> There's his video recording machine right there. Ooh, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 You want to feel the power? All right. <laughs> if you can feel the power underneath your feet and your freaking butt, then that might just turn you on. Still recording on here, eh? Yeah. Hey, cool. <laughs> so, if you guys like that video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the du double tap the dislike video. And uh, if you haven't already and you'd like to subscribe, please do. We'll see you guys all next time. See you all later. Riding off into the sunset with Jason and I. <laughs>